Hello there, fellow maker. Bill here with a quick video about my Wolverine claws. These are the claws I made a few weeks ago for my old man Logan costume. They turned out pretty great. Wore them at Dragon Con and I had a really good time. A lefty and a righty. They uh, hide pretty well in my hands like that and they worked out awesome. I made a couple more special effect gag claws that I wanted to show you. So, these are the normal ones. Mm -hmm. And here's another one I made for my right hand. And in the movie, Old Man Logan has a bit of a problem when one of his claws doesn't come out all the way. So I made another set, and this one's just a little bit shorter, so it looks like it hasn't come out all the way. So I can pose like I'm trying to pull my claw the rest of the way out, like so. So that was really fun to wear. And there was another one. This is just sort of cropped off a bit, right? So the idea here is that I could pretend I'm punching someone and it'll jab into their side like I did my buddy Stevie K. Smith in his giant Gears of War costume. Yeah, And it'll look like the claws are impaled in them. But I went one step further and I made this. This is a headband that I drilled some holes in and I attached just the tip of a couple of the claws there so that I could place this over someone's head and it would look like the tips of the claws are poking out the other side of their head. Then I can pose with this claw in my left hand next to their head and if I line it up just right, it looks like I'm stabbing through their head and out the other side. So I spent most of Dragon Con dressed as Old Man Logan pretending to stab people in the head which was a whole lot of fun. There you go, a couple of uh, normal claws and a couple of gag claws for my Old Man Logan costume. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this little tip and trip down my Dragon Con adventure. And uh, that's all I got for you today. A little extra video for you this week. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you all in the next build.